one of the first things that vapor would come in contact with in the lung is pulmonary surfactant. That's kind of our area of expertise. So it seemed like a logical thing to try to figure out what happens when that vapor, which is an unnatural substance, gets into the lung and, and gets in contact with pulmonary surfactant. What we did is we took this surfactant, we put that in a syringe and made that film in a syringe and just put vapor on top of it. So it's a fairly simple, straightforward procedure, but it just allows the vapor or the aerosol to directly interact with that film of surfactant uh, within a syringe. And we do that uh, a number of times. In particular, we were looking at surface tension. So surfactant's main job in the lungs is to redu reduce surface tension down to almost zero values. And that's what allows you to continue breathing and you know stop your lungs from collapsing. And so it's really important that it able it's able to get down to those really low values. And after vaping, we saw a lot higher minimum, minimum surface tension values. So the surfactant wasn't able to reduce the surface tension down to where it should be. We also looked at yeah, different flavor additives and nicotine. So the nicotine didn't have any further effect on the surface tension, but the flavorings did. Actually menthol and Red Wedding flavored e-liquid uh, had even worse effects on the surfactants. We hope to use the information then to either at least get the public aware, have fewer people vape, but also to know that if people vape and they do come to the hospital with injuries related to that, that we know how we may be able to treat it.